Hi right, YouTube, Trev here, Summit or Nothing. I'm just going to make a lot of, another little extra video here today with the nature hike, Cloud Up 2. You've seen us put it up in the garden, you've seen us test it out on Dartmoor and when I tested it on Dartmoor I said I preferred the Banshee for the fact that you could put the outer skin up first and then put the inside skin up inside that, keeping it dry. But as the week's gone on I've been thinking, could you put the outer skin up? And I'm beginning to think that you possibly can. Because I'm pretty sure that the, the ground sheet had um, ringlets in to accept the poles. So uh, without further ado, let's have a look. Can you use the Nature Hike Cloud Up as an outer first tent? Let's have a look. This is the outer skin. Doesn't look like there's any ringlets on here. So you can't put that up just with the frame. So we've put this aside for a second. This is the ground sheet. If you have a look there, it has got the ringlets and it has got a clip. Obviously the clip goes into the outer sheet. It's already looking like it is a possibility. Let me just peg this one out and we take it from there. Okay, so the ground sheet's down. There's tassels on the end of each of the clips to allow for the tent pegs to stick in, except for that one. So there's one missing. I don't know if I've lost that or it wasn't there to start with. I haven't noticed. So I've just substituted the actual strap itself and hooked that on a peg. So not ideal, but now let's see if we can put the poles, poles together. So there, that was painless enough getting the, uh, the ground sheet down with the frame put up ready for the outside to go on over. So you might think you'd get a wet ground sheet if it is raining, but then the bottom of the tent, bottom of the inner is also waterproof. So it's not going to bother you like that, not going to come through. They give you the ground sheet because the bottom of this is so thin and I expect it could be punctured fairly easily. Now let's put the outer on. It's easy enough to do, clipping these in. So now we've got the tent up with the outer skin first. So that looked easy enough, that's good to know. Now looking at this now, from inside, there's no reason you can use this as a tarp. Get rid of the inner altogether. Again, reducing some weight. So we'll have a look in a minute at what weight that might save. But first of all, we'll see now if we can put the inner inside the outer. So it's a case now of just folding it out inside. Now once again we've got the clips which need to plug into the outer. So I guess for now we can just stick them outside ready to be clipped in in a minute. Now let's start the hooking. I think it will work. It's just a case of working, working from the back and moving this way. So there you go, the inner is in, it's hooked up. Like I say, now we've just got to clip these in on the outside. So I'm just reaching through from the bottom, from underneath, unclipping that, clip that into there. I suppose we can also, because the ground sheet is pegged down, we can now swap out the pole from one to the other. Possibly go through both, yep. Go through both straps. So there you go. You can put the outer up first, helping out in the rain. And you can also use it as a tarp tent. It does seem like you are gonna need the ground sheet though to, to make sure that the poles have something to hook into. So yeah, another plus point for the nature hike. I thought that was worth exploring and now I'm glad I did. So now it's just a case of having a look and seeing how much it would weigh without the inner in case you wanted to use it like a tarp. Okay, so now I've packed the tent up. So in here is just the outer and the ground sheet in case you're going for that tarp option. So let's just have a look now and see what this weighs without the inner. 1.32 kilograms. So that's not a bad weight, that's another weight saver. 
so you can get it down even more lightweight if you wanted anyway i hope you lot have enjoyed this video just a little have a look see i might one day try just using the tarp set up and uh, see how that gets on if you want to keep up to date with our adventures or see any other products that we're using for more hiking and wild camping content please be sure to subscribe drop us a comment below give us a like and share this video wherever you can thank you goodbye